Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have another phenomenal reading, Capricorn. Yes, and uh, I hope you're okay with us saying that, right? For sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Capricorn, uh, in this reading we see Dreaming Johnny. Yeah, and he's looking up at the butterflies and you know, he's getting ready to fall in the water. Uh, not because he's, you know, it's because he's not paying attention. He's too busy dreaming about his new beginning. Uh, and here's the Aquarius glyph, which is about the future. Yeah, it is. It's about your hopes and wishes. Yeah, the 11th house of, uh, it is about friendships and hopes and wishes. Yeah, uh, it can be social causes and, you know, or, you know, groups of people, things like that. And here's Gemini as well. And this has to do with the mind, of course, and decisions. Yeah, not always decisions, but definitely about intellectual uh, about the intellect. Yeah, here's Taurus down here. So this is about, this could be about, you know, Venus and love. Could be. Uh, and uh, can also be about your beliefs and what you value for sure. Here is uh, Aries and this is Mars and this means I'm doing it. Yeah. Move out of the way. I don't care if I fall in the water. And there's Dreaming Johnny. And we have, you know, with the angels here, we have not the right time, but in the near future. And in the near future it, are the two angels together. Yeah, over here they're alone when it says not the right time. So uh, it's kind of a, you know, this is an indicator. I feel like it is. And today we're using the housewife's deck because uh, we're feeling, you know, a need. Uh, what do you call that when you kind of precariously clean your house, right? Oh, vicariously. Yeah, not precariously. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and uh, right, we're acting it out in another way, right? Our guilt, right? <laughs> I'm teasing, and let's see what else we have, Capricorn. If you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. They're accurate. I'm a Silva grad, and we do the tarot uh, at the end. So you get two different uh, types of divination. You do, and mm -hmm, if you would like a free five-minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, you can find that below their, their link in the description box. And you may also get a tarot spread unto itself. Yeah, you could. Let's see what we have, Capricorn. And uh, with this deck here, we have fighting. Somebody's fighting here. Yeah, nobody wants to fight with you here. They're too busy dreaming about being with you. Uh, maybe somebody's going through a breakup here, and that's why it, it has to be, like, postponed. Uh, interesting. Let's see what else we have for Capricorn, please. And we have, uh, the mind and, uh, this mind is really jumbled. Yeah. And, uh, poor guy, right? Uh, his head's on fire and, uh, the mind is all these kind of, uh, kind of junkyard parts that are kind of supposed to make like a mind, right? You know, make your mind kind of, uh, yeah, pieces of the mind. And then we have possibilities. Okay. So this is, uh, this can be seen kind of as, uh, can be seen as a two of wands, possibilities. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting here. And, uh, mm -hmm. definitely, let's see what else we have, Capricorn. And let's use these cards and let's see what they say for Capricorn, please. For Capricorn, please. And, uh. Yeah, and we have well-being, and these don't read in the reverse to me, so turn them over. Well-being, yeah, this is really important, well-being. So this dream that somebody has to have a new beginning here, uh, who is not enjoying their well-being with this mind here and this fighting, uh, yeah, they look like they're stressed out uh, beyond belief here. Uh, this is about, uh, you know, moving into your well-being and what's really good for you. And that's what this dream is going to uh, provide some stability for somebody when it comes true. Yeah, it is. And some kind of, uh, it's good for them. It's definitely good. Let's see what else we have. The well-being card. And we have forgiveness. Somebody wants forgiveness, Capricorn. Yeah, and, you know, maybe they're maybe they want forgiveness whoever they're fighting with. Maybe they were fighting with you. But this is, you know, uh, yeah, it's maybe, maybe they were fighting with you. Um, definitely, but uh, there are possibilities here. And this dream to come true here is uh, that, you know, they want to come true is definitely about, is about bringing well-being or I'm going to be happy and feeling secure, things like that. Yeah. 
So let's see what we have. And today we are using the Housewives deck, as I have mentioned. Uh, there's a bunch of dishes in the sink here, Capricorn, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here. And uh, oh, for Capricorn, please. And we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is a rejection here. This is knowing when I've had enough of something. And so she's had enough to drink. She had three drinks here. And uh, the fourth drink, she says, I don't want this. So in this reading, somebody is going through something here. Your person, I believe, may be fighting with somebody and really stressed out here uh, and dreaming about the possibilities with you. And this is like, I've had enough. So it could be I've had enough of a, a relationship where somebody fights, uh, possibly, um, but it, she knows she has a, she's had enough. I don't want anymore. And she's being offered this cocktail and she's got her hands up like, no, I don't want that. And now we have the nine of swords and this is all about anxiety. Uh, it can definitely can be. And here we see, uh, this is kind of like the den where they have, I don't know, they have these swords up on the wall, but they're knives and scissors and it's just stuff like that. Here's looks like a Swiss knife over here, but these huge knives, uh, you know, they can hurt, but uh, and here's the mother-in-law holding the huge knife, right? So maybe there's a mother-in-law like that here in this reading. That's not one of the housewives. She's uh, a little too, you know, she's older, too old to do that. But uh, somebody's worried here and there's a rejection here. And whoever's rejecting somebody is worried here and possibly dealing with adversity and just you know dealing with problems it could be other people with the fighting definitely let's see what else we have capricorn and the two of swords the queen of swords here she is and she's definitely putting an end to uh, her husband here uh here he is and he doesn't know i don't think that she's cutting him right off at the stem here like nipping it right at the bud and she's laughing uh he did something here uh, she, she, he did. And so she doesn't either want him or she's doing something with him, but I don't think he knows that he's being really kind of, this is, he's getting kind of maybe just cut out because he has a smile on his face. So, you know, she's laughing here cause she's like, look what I'm doing. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm. The four of swords, this talks about revitalizing something. We see the woman with her avocado, avocado mask on. Yeah. And she's been eating, you know, lots of broccoli and, you know, salads and, you know, vegetables and stuff like that. Uh, but she's trying to make her skin look well, uh, look good rather. And, uh, you know, in the heart of the matter, we see a rejection and we see worry, uh, and maybe some type of kind of adversity. Yeah. Because this uh, grandmother or whatever, this mother-in-law is the, the, the look on her face is like, you know, uh, like I'll cut you if you bother me. Yeah. Or if you, you know, maybe if you reject me, definitely the world card and you know, this is expansion. It can be travel, right? It can, but this is definitely expansion. And it does talk about things that can be ending, uh, in order to have something really beautiful in order to have a new world. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. And so let's see what we have Capricorn in the past though. We see the page of pentacles and he's there helping his mom. He's like the volunteer mom. Can I put the dishes away? Uh, you know, can I have 50 cents? Right. Or, you know, uh, they used to call it allowance, right? Oh, I didn't get allowance. Right. Cause you know, I didn't grow up in that kind of a family. <laughs> it's not that they didn't want to give it. It's that, you know, my mom was, my mom was, uh, she was, you know, she was uh, balancing her checkbook. Trust me, she was. Uh, and, you know, she's a good lady. But, uh, pay, you know, some kids used to get that. That's great, right? And the Page of Pentacles is here. It's always best when you earn your own. But that is usually it was given, not just given. It was given because you did your chores, right? Yeah, I mean, sometimes we got paid to do that a little bit. And then, you know, the Page of Pentacles talks about, I really want to do my best. That's what that talks about. And he's putting the dishes in, you know, in the, uh, uh, you know, the China cabinet, whatever this is. And it's in back in the day, it was here in the wall, right? Built in. Uh, I had a lot of stuff built in back in the day, right? And so we have the strength card here. You know, this is about courage, but it's not just that. It's about inner strength and patience and uh, self-discipline. That's what this is about. 
and uh, mm -hmm, and this is the past. So this talks about, I just feel like somebody here, uh, this talks about like owning your power too through, through oh, your own self-discipline because it's a number eight, right? And the eights are about power. And so this is somebody who has kind of probably like, uh, kind of did maybe some shadow work possibly because of, uh, the self-discipline here, unless they kind of came like that. I feel like they probably didn't, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think so, but possibility here. Uh, and then here's the page of pentacles with it. So this person wants to do their best and something is rejected so they can do their best with you because of the value here. Uh, and they're dealing with something here and thus that's you Capricorn. And what right? It depends on who's doing, who the protagonist is here in this reading. And it, you know, it could be you or the other person, because there's definitely two people here and possibly maybe even three, but you know, for sure two. Now the two of swords is what's helping you. And, uh, you know, she has the turkey chicken here, you know, for chicken, the turkey chicken. She has, uh, you know, the roasted turkey here for Thanksgiving. And you can tell because she's dressed nice, right? She's going to Thanksgiving dinner. All right. And here it is, but she's blindfolded. So this means that I want to eat this turkey or I'm being kind of pushed to do this, right? Because she's blindfolded. So, you know, she must be being pushed to do it. Uh, but by her own strength and her own self-discipline and her own desire, right? Because here's dreaming Johnny, uh, looking up at these, uh, you know, these, he's dreaming, he's going to fall in the water here. He's daydreaming, uh, because he wants a new beginning. He's looking right at the butterflies, right? And so here she is. I'm going to do this anyway, even if I don't see the end path, Sagittarius got this card. Even if I don't see, you know, the end path, I have a plan and I want this. And, you know, and in her case, I really want to eat Turkey and, uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to eat it if I don't carve it, right? Yeah, and coming with that is the Page of Cups. And this is the little boy is watering his love. Uh, these are his grandparents, and they are little plants. And, you know, this the uh, the roots are in this heart. It's very cute. He's in his pajamas, and he's, uh, you know, and he is watering. There's his, He's got his two granddads here and his grandmother, and I guess one passed or, you know. But the point about it is that he's, uh, watering his love here. And, uh, this person feels like they have to do this Capricorn. This is, I have to do this. I have to water this. I have to nurture this. I have to give to it. And that's what this page of Pentacles is about over here. Because remember, he's helping his mother with the dishes. This is like, I really, and this is in the past. This was already decided in the past. I'm going to do my best or really make an effort here. And it shows up here and it shows up here. Yeah, these are the sweet pages in this particular deck. All right. The Four of Swords is in the near future. And this is, remember, this is in the near future too, uh, right? And But here, this is about revitalizing. This person wants to re regenerate this. Yeah, they do. And uh, maybe they're hoping you're taking good care of yourself, Capricorn, because she is, right? She definitely is. She has her, uh, she has her makeup too, but she's got her, you know, cucumbers. And as I said, uh, you know, her eyes are, <clears throat> she's got her avocado mask and maybe she's got some, you know, <clears throat> conditioner in her hair, right? Yeah. And so definitely she's wrapped in a turban. The Knight of Wands is, here's the, uh, this knight here. And he's like Butch. If you guys ever saw uh, Butch in the, uh, the Little Rascals and he's usually the bad boy and, you know, he looks like the bad boy too. He's not, you know, he's never like the cute, sweet young one. He's the one who looks like rough, right? And so here's a Knight of Wands and he's rough looking. He is, uh, and this is about somebody who is mischievous. Yeah, I'm doing this anyway. I'm doing it, whatever I, I don't care. However I, and that's what this guy, however I can have fun, I will. Because he's got a bike here, right? And he's got a pot on his head, like it's a helmet, you know, protecting his head. And here is his sword or, you know, is uh, a toilet plunger. Yeah. So the, he's protecting himself. He's a knight and he says, I'll do it whatever way I can because this, this mischief is well worth it. Somebody's getting themselves into trouble, like in a sense here, right? Because they want to be with you Capricorn. Yeah, they do. 
And right now they could be fighting with somebody else. Maybe they're fighting with themselves. Possibly it could be, right? But there is like fighting here. Uh, it's all because they really want to be with you. This person's coming at like, <clears throat> like let no stone be unturned, something like that. I'll do whatever here. And uh, yeah, I'll do whatever it takes. That's what this is about. And I'm going to be sweet as well. And I'm going to do my best. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful in that sense. Yeah, I feel like it is. So let's get a card on the Four of Swords before we, this is the revitalization in the, new, in the near future. And here's the uh, woman saying goodbye, the Six of Swords. So first she thought about it and she said, what? Really? I, I'm thinking about leaving kind of. And then her eyes are open in the middle like, it might be a good idea. Over here she's like, yeah, I'm doing this. So she's waving goodbye, her bag's packed, yeah. She's wearing a cute uh, kind of safari jacket here, or trench coat. And uh, she's saying goodbye to somebody, the Six of Swords. It's a transition for change in order to revitalize this with you. And the Knight of Wands, here he is, Mr. Mischief. And uh, I'm doing this however any way I can. I if I have to get in trouble or something like that, I'm fine. Here's the Five of Cups, you see. So this means here, she's pulling her hair out. She went to a dance. And uh, the cups are pulled over. This is ruin, right? It's an ending or it's ruin or both. And there is an ending because we see the transition here. She's saying goodbye. And here he is. And I'm, I'm going to do this even if I have to create ruin. Yeah. And that's why somebody here, Capricorn, this person is really stressed out. Look at the picture of uh, this mind card. Yeah. It's not a nice, no, it's not. And in fact, it looks like he already lost his eye and his mouth has been disfigured kind of, but uh, sort of, but it's, you know, his head's on fire and they look like kind of uh, cigarettes or those, those little pelt things that we used to light to, uh, we used to light them for, I think they're like smoke bombs. Yeah. Smoke bombs. And, you know, you just sit there and they kind of stink up, you know, I don't know, stink up your, you know, your somebody when you're playing outside here, you know, I don't really like you. Here's my little stink bomb, right? <laughs> yeah, when you're being a stinker, right? And so here's the fighting card with it. So this is a sacrifice of some sort, it is. And we have uh, this five of wands. She's really challenged and, you know, uh, she's got to clean and she's got all these things to clean at one time. Uh, and so she's got, you know, she's got like five feather dusters here. This is a challenge, uh, a challenge definitely could be too many people here. And this is how you are affecting this person. This person is taking on the challenge here. Uh, and over here is how you're being affected. In other words, or kind of how this is directed at you. Like this person doesn't care whatever they have to do here, even ruin something or create an ending or something like that. Yeah. I really upset somebody. This lady's upset. Uh, he says, I'll do it anyway. Well, I'll do it however I can. I have my plunger and I have my uh, helmet, which is my mother's, you know, saucepan basically, right? And so here we have the five of wands showing up with uh, the page of swords. So here's another uh, naughty, naughty boy <clears throat> and he's the page of swords and he doesn't care either. So you can tell in this reading that somebody doesn't care about something else. Like I have to have this dream at all costs, right? Yeah. And so for whatever reason, they are, this isn't the right time, but it is going to happen in the near future. I feel like they're fighting with somebody and they're, they're walking away because remember the transition or the saying goodbye does show up in the near future. Yeah. Interesting. So over here, uh, Capricorn is somebody who is, uh, rebel. He's rebellious. This little boy's being rebellious. Uh, and he's dealing with these challenges and the hopes and fears here is, basically a new beginning it's a nine of wands and this is a completion and i've done all my work and that's what happened with her she i don't know how to clean or whatever she's at the top of the ladder and she's got her evening dress on she goes i did all the work here and i'm happy now uh the nine of wands uh you know in the other deck it's a little different but uh she has reached her completion she's happy showing up with uh the nine of pentacles and this is uh, this is my self-sufficiency because she has a dishwasher and she's, this is like the self-sufficient lady who is on nine of pentacles, like a single, right? Or sometimes just, you know, self-sufficiency. But in this reading, uh, something is being rebelled against and left out. Yeah, it is. And we see it here. Uh, we see it in a few places. We definitely do. 
uh, especially when we read between the lines. But here's a nine of wands. Uh, both nines are, are completions. She's happy. She's she just she has a dishwasher. She de she doesn't have to depend. Like she's more self sufficient now, right? She doesn't have to ask her husband to wash the dishes, right? And he's gonna say no anyway, wasn't he? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, right? But this is definitely this is coming true because somebody's gaining their independence. I believe they are. Here's justice, and interesting here because this shows up in the potential outcome, Capricorn. And what it means here, she's spanking her son. And she's she's kind of like, you know, she's smiling. She has a wooden spoon. My mom used to have one. Yeah, I mean, they can't really, you know, they can't do too much damage. No, they can't. And, you know, she's on his uh, lap, right? And he's kind of crying out here, but it's, you know, it's not tears or, you know, he's not on the phone calling CPS. No, he's not. They didn't do that in those days. No, they didn't. <laughs> right, yeah. And so, you know, it's another, uh, it's another video, right? But... Uh, you know, here she is spanking him and, uh, mm -hmm. and so God, I used to have a, like a dresser just like that a long time ago. She's spanking him and, uh, this is what he deserves, right? That's why she's not like, <clears throat> she's not beating him. She's just kind of, you know, spanking his butt. Yeah. And, uh, I don't see anything wrong with it, but you know, he's spanking, especially if, you know, he did something really wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. and interesting, this is a number 11. So with justice, uh, we see that this is about two people or it's about a decision to kind of take one way. It's like a duality or a polarity. And so this justice here, uh, this person Sagittarius Capricorn, I'm sorry, is hoping for justice and they're willing to take their, their spanking because we see it over here. I don't care if I, re if I rebel, here's the rebellious page. Uh, yeah. And you know, I don't care. And down here was the queen of swords and we didn't talk about that. And that is coming into play. This, this husband is being cut out. He is, and she's laughing and he did something definitely, but you know, this could be anybody who's kind of, somebody's ending a relationship uh, of sorts. Yeah. I'm not sure what it, if it's romantic or not, doesn't have to be two people married, but here's the five of cups here to, uh, to, to prove that ending. Yeah. And now we have the 10 of cups down here. This is, I'm getting my happily ever after, uh, because I'm leaving something that, that doesn't make me happy. He's not making her happy. She wouldn't be cutting him. No, she wouldn't. Uh, so in the end here and the potential outcome is justice. Uh, she's laughing kind of like, she's the mother, right? But this is like, she, this is interesting because I feel like, uh, you're going to get what you deserve. And I also feel like this is also about this person taking, taking kind of us fine. I'll, I'll take the, uh, the punishment here because I want to go and I want to be with Capricorn and the Ace of Pentacles is with it. And, uh, if you can see here, it says planning, right? Somebody wrote on my card, how dare they, right? And Ace of Pentacles, this is, uh, you're being offered a new stable, uh, a new stable beginning, right? An opportunity for a stable one, a solid one. Uh, and let's get one more card here because yeah, this is kind of cool. And then we have the hermit, maybe they're Virgo, uh, but there's definitely been contemplation here about this. Uh, they could be Libra here with justice and you know, many others, but yeah, uh, somebody's willing to take a spanking so they can be with you. Yeah. And so maybe they are going through that right now because right after dreaming, Johnny is the fighting and the mind in order to have possibilities in their life. And that is with you, the two of wands in order for their well being. but they're going to ask for forgiveness, Capricorn. So we're going to end this reading and thank you so much for joining me here. Get your psychic reading. You can go read the comments in uh, yesterday's, <coughs> yesterday's Sagittarius reading <coughs> at the, t it's pinned at the top, right? About the accuracy of the psychic reading. Thank you so much, you guys. And please remember to like, share and subscribe.